And we're back on Dailies Today on a Friday morning. I'm Sheriff Quadri Jamili is here. Let's start with uh, the Punch newspaper. Before we get into the Punch, let's uh, have you know that you can watch live on Facebook and on YouTube, Nigeria Info 99.3. Let's know what you think about these airlines. Now to the Punch. Lagos kicks nurses fault FG as alleged vaccine sale services. Yeah, first, um, I, I must say, uh, Lagos State has reacted to yesterday's story. I must give kudos to the nation for the fantastic story they did yesterday, the two-page story they did on, on the, um, you know, and, and in which part of the story actually partially indicted the Lagos State government. Now, all of us know who the nation belongs to, and for them to have done that in what I would call a good balance, I, I give a... Uh, kudos to the nation. So I hope other newspapers will keep it up. It was a fantastic story, but it brought a lot of reaction and flack um, yesterday uh, from, from uh, you know, the, the Lagos government side, obviously. And today we have the report from the uh, from the Lagos State Commissioner for Information, Mr. Gwenga Motoso, who has challenged anyone with proof that the COVID-19 vaccine was being sold to challenge anybody to come forward. The Punch story says that Omotoso, in an interview with their correspondents, also said it was not true that the state had a separate portal for the registration. And this is what he says. He says that Lagos is still leading other states in the vaccination drive. We have vaccinated over 88,000 people now and so on and so forth. And he says that the people that are entitled to it are well spelled out. That it should be frontline workers who could even be drivers of ambulances, doctors, nurses, laboratory attendants, policemen, journalists, and the military people. People have said that foreigners are being given preferential treatment because they have been able to bribe officials. That is wrong. You can be a foreigner and be a frontline worker. I don't understand the logic in that, but that's what he has said. Anyway, Lagos State has denied that they have a separate portal and have denied, but people keep saying that there has been a lot of, indeed, at... Um, what was this place? Ikate. It was being said that uh, there was a consignment that was moved in an ambulance and was headed to the residence of a traditional ruler. I don't know about these things. These are some of the stories that we heard yesterday. All said and done, we owe it as a people to get this country right. So I'm going to be asking anybody who has any proof at all mm. to please come forward with it. We need to get these things right. Don't let's just sit back like I, I, I did the day before yesterday mm. and just said that is the way we are. We need to change this thing around. So if you have any proof, preferably also with pictures and so on and so forth, we would be more than glad to entertain it. But so far, the, the commissioner has said uh, uh, nothing like that has happened. Mm. And I don't have any reason at all to doubt him. Well, staying with the Punch newspaper, Tinobu to chair 11th Ariwa House Lecture. Uh, that's on the punch. Oof. Now, you see, Tim, um, Ashwadu Tinubu's presidential ambition is well known. Mm -hmm. And people's reaction depend, to, depend on their perception of him. Uh, some don't like his ways. Some don't like things that are attributed, attributed to him. And for some, he's a hero. What I do know, though, is when I hear that Tinubu is to chair the 11th Arawa House Lecture, Okay, which is like the northern prime event of the year. It shows me that this man has been, uh, 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 you know, has done a lot of footwork mm. to get to this level. What it would mean at the end of the day is left, you know, is left to the electrons, whatever turns out at that time. But I must say that you must give him some credit, mm. you know, for having gotten this far. I mean, the, 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 Eleventh Arawa House Lecture Series, uh, the, the director of the Arawa House, uh, Shwaibu Aliu, says that uh, Tinubu would will, will, will be the chair, and um, along with the chairman of the Northern Governors Forum, he will be the, the guest speaker, Simon Lalong. He said that Lalong will speak on reducing the cost of governance and inclusion of youth in national development in post-COVID-19 era. And he says that Lalong was carefully selected uh, okay, to, to deliver the lecture because he's also currently the chairman of the Northern Governors Forum. And so you can imagine the, 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 
caliber of people that will be there, uh, whatever your thoughts are. Mm. And he also says that for the chairmanship, we also look at the track records of prominent individuals before selecting who chairs the lecture. Ashiwa Jubola Tinubu has been, has been selected to add value to the event, uh, the political development and unity of the country. This man has been working hard. Mm. You, I, I need to give him credit. Whatever you might feel about him, uh, our, job here, our job here is to analyze what is in the papers at, on that particular day and do not take it necessarily as some kind of endorsement. But it is an acknowledgement that a lot of hard work is being done. And I wish him all the luck. At the end of the day, it's up to us as Nigerians to decide who to elect as our next president. That's right. We're still with the point in Super. Lagos to present 13 vehicles consolation prices to <laughs> teachers. Lagos to present 13 vehicles consolation prices to teachers. I don't even like that word consolation prizes. I'm happy for the teachers, though. At least 18 of them, right? No, 13 of them will be going home with vehicles. But I think we can do better than that. And I think it, 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 it's time we stopped this government of handouts, giving a house to somebody or giving teachers 13. Now, don't get me wrong. Mm. I have nothing against it. Rather, I would have a system that guarantees every teacher a vehicle. Listen, what's a big deal? Make their life comfortable. Make their life comfortable. Don't don't, don't put some ceremony in place and you yes. you're expecting us to say kumbaya and you're doing well. It make is... the life of teachers comfortable. Pay them really well. Have some special packages for them. Do whatever it is you want to do as a government to make them comfortable. Yes. Is it too much, for example, for the government to look for an area and build what you will call a teacher's village? You can give everybody a plot of land, you know, and of course they'll pay for it. And why can't you have a scheme that, you see, part of the problems with us is we don't seem to realize that education is the core of the development, is the, is the, is the foundation that, that is of it. development. That's the foundation. You can't go forward, and you can see the kind of sloppy things that we have, you know, since education has gone to the back, whatever, in the past 20-something years, you can see what, what's been produced. Where is certain things are said by public officials or done, and you ask yourself, who thought of this? I think we need to pay a better premium to, to, to education. Mm. Our, our politicians pay themselves humongous salaries. They pay themselves humongous pensions. Why can't teacher want, teachers should get their re reward right now on earth and not in heaven? And therefore, this is nothing to celebrate, to be honest with you. I'm happy for the 13 teachers, don't get me wrong. But it is nothing to celebrate. It is nothing to celebrate. We need, we need to pay a premium on education. And that's what Awolowa did that produced a lot of these people in part today. Right. Many of them would have been hawking um, sausage, sausage roll and whatever in Orile mm. if it hadn't been for, for Awolowa. We went to school with some of them and we know what they're doing now. Mm. We went to school with some of them. They, they can say whatever they like to younger people, but we, a lot of our leaders today, we know what, what we were all like when we were kids. Why have you gone through a system that you might deny other people? I did my A-levels in comprehensive high school, Laetoro. You need to see the staff quarters. Mm. All our mm. teachers had. You need to see the staff quarters. How do you? How do I say Uri Awudi in English now? Your head. <laughs> you be, be proud. You be proud. Of course, I knew what to say. <laughs> <laughs> in, in all honesty, I, I'm, I'm telling you. We, we, but over time, teachers have been at the wrong end. Look That's at right. how much you pay a senator. Look at how much you pay a teacher. Now you want to give them a, 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 a look at teachers don't have access to any cookie jar. You know? our, our politicians, the, the, all their ten fingers and ten toes are inside this thing. That's all. So there's nothing to celebrate. I, 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 I think we, I think, think and hope that we will have a new mindset when we have a new government in place in 2023 because we can't I, I continue. With, we can't continue with same of same. Yesterday I was lamenting. I was lamenting on the phone to a friend, and I said, one of my lamentations is that I wish somebody would come and give APC a good fight in Lagos. The PDP is dead and moribund. You know, I wish somebody would crop up and give them a very good fight. And because we, 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 the other day you gave an actress, we didn't know what, what the parameters were. And this is not how to govern. Mm -hmm. In what developed country do you see anybody giving 13 teachers cars? For God's sake. And look at the difference between what you pay teachers and what you pay yourselves. 
I beg, second base. The, it, it, the members of the House of Assembly, did you take two, three of them to give them cars? Of course not. I don't think they spent up to six months before they, they got their car. Most likely, I'm not sure, they will be SUVs. You, you don't even have to work so hard. You don't, it's, oh, yeah. you don't have to sweat this thing out before you fashion out. Wait, this, these are teachers that are on your payroll. Just give them these cars. On, they are going to pay for it. It's not, we're not saying dash them. They're going to pay for it. Make life comfortable for them. They can't hustle from their houses to the classrooms that are not well, uh, uh, they're not suitable and conducive enough, then go back to their houses where there is no light again. And how much are you paying them? And then, Sheriff, how much? Who was the governor who placed a premium on teachers and civil servants' welfare in mm. Lagos State? In Lagos, yeah. Do you know who that person was? Who was that? Uba Marwa. Hmm. He wasn't a politician. It was a it was a Milad then. It was a Milad. It's one of the best governors we've had in this country. Buba Marwa, he had buses for them. Hmm. He had he subsidized the food in the canteen. And and uh, ironically, this man is not a member of the Odudua nation. Should I you see you see yourself now? Ironically. Ironically. In Buba Marwa's time, did you see area boys jumping all over the place asking for? When he, get, he, he found he, he found a way to keep them busy. Hmm. But what do you have now? You just say second base, I'll be you are going to say it. I don't have it. <laughs> no, no. You just go ahead. <laughs> you 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 know it, it it's. Uh, Okay, let's go. Let's okay, go. let's go. Time, let's time go. is gone. Yes. Vanguard is here. Vanguard says secession threats on elected jokers can't declare sovereignty. Akiri Lu speaking, it has riders. Accuses Akintoye of grandstanding for relevance. Uh, Sunday Igbo can't speak for Yoruba. YCE is speaking. Why we keep repeating this thing is to bang it in our people's heads mm. that, that nobody has, has no right whatsoever to say that he's doing anything on behalf of the Yorubas without a mandate. And I'm surprised that uh, Akito is written somewhere here, was accusing uh, Akiri Dulu of not having any mandate. For God's sake, the guy is an elected How? governor. What do you mean? The guy is an elected ah. governor. Who, who, who? And when I hear leader of the Yorubas, Akito is not my own leader. I'm a Yoruba man. I'm sorry, sir. You're not my leader. You are not my leader. I didn't have a hand. I wasn't given an opportunity to, to determine whether you are my leader or not. But my leader in Lagos is my political head, and that is Governor Sonwolu. He's my leader, and he's the one I hold responsible for anything that happens in my own environment. That's right. Where were these leaders? Akele Dulu says that this gentleman, for example, was in the United States when people were struggling for, 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 for democracy here. It was tucked up somewhere there. Where were, where have these leaders been when our own leaders our own leaders have been compromising us? Have you heard any of these groups say anything to the governors mm. present or past? The ones that are in Lagos, they were cotton with the governors at that time. I remember there was a governor who was accused of corruption. Mm. They, one of these groups went and they visited him, came out smiling about 30 minutes later back slapping and said that oh he has explained to them and they think that that is you know they think that that is uh, uh, that is okay the acquisition was wrong i mean for god's sake let's get real hmm. let us get real I, I have no problem with what's what's the other one restructuring or whatever i have no problem with that but i keep maintaining that the why should i move why should i move out of nigeria when the problem that i have is localized within my area I will now move out to a place that makes the people oppressing me more powerful. What kind of logic is that? Mm, mm. And I keep saying to people, you keep saying, yes, because of what Nigeria has become. Yorubas have benefited more. Akitoye says that Yorubas are treated like errand, errand boys. They have not. When Fashola was given three super ministries, what did they say? Did they look at the fairness of that? If Fash the ministries that were given to Fashola, indeed the two given to him now, if they had been given to somebody from the north, this country would almost have caught fire. It would have been another Let's get real. You have a Yoruba person as, as a vice president. If you don't like him, too bad. You have the same Yoruba person as, uh, the, as, as a speaker of the Federal Republic. So what is it? What else do you want? You have what, what, what do you mean by errand See, boys? What do you mean by errand boys? I don't feel like an errand boy in my country. I feel more like an errand boy in my state. Headed by the, well, I don't know whether whether 
you don't know these things, but I think he's a Yoruba person. Who are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but, but I mean, let's get real and face the times when all these governors were oppressing people. What did you do? Hmm. What did you do? You know, and, and, and so the YCE, I'm glad I've also not learned voice to say that Igboho cannot speak for the Yorubas. Because you see, what some of these people don't know is this. What they don't know is this. They want to ride the tiger, they're going to end up in his belly. The way we are going if care is not taken, mm. you are going to have a revolution that will consume everybody because the, the groups that these people lead, yeah. the groups that they lead, mm. the truth is that they are frustrated. Mm. Mm. When I was 17, 18 and busy doing vac job or going to school back in the day in this country, I didn't have time, but the story is different now. There are a lot of angry youths. Mm. And guess what? If they think that they will use this, these boys as cannon fodder, mm. the boys will turn on them. Eventually. Eventually. Don't, don't, can't you see? <laughs> I don't know why they can't see this. And they keep going on and on and on and on. People who expose people, educated people. And you can't, you, you, you can't smell the coffee. These groups are saying that they want to declare a referendum on June 12. How can you declare? Is that how to do it? Is that how to declare? Is that how referendums are conducted? Uh-huh. Referendums are not conducted by Muso Muso. Hey, put up <laughs> your hand. I don't know what I don't know what is wrong. And these people are educated. To get a referendum, mm. honestly, it will take you more than 18 months. A well-recognized referendum. The processes are long. You have to follow the legal The Council process. of Elders asked some valid questions when uh, they were asked about the referendum. They, they said that, is it going to be conducted by INEC? Is it going to be conducted by anybody in, in government? Is it in the Constitution of the Federal Republic? Exactly. I mean, uh, where are they going to conduct the, that referendum that it's going to carry any weight or any substance? You know, and, and, and there are so many well-educated persons amongst them. I wonder where, but we, we, some of us have a fair idea of where all this is going. Mm -hmm. Like I told you, after religion, activism is the next best business you can get into. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Uh, if you're watching on um, YouTube, feel free. We're seeing your messages that have coming. But apologies to our Facebook fans. Uh, we're not currently streaming on Facebook. We'll try to sort it out before the end of the program. Uh, let's take a few comments off uh, of YouTube live stream. Uh, Mohammed says, Uncle Jimmy, as usual, you have done it again. Many people um, don't know. You don't hate Hashiwaju, but you only try to be factual in your analysis of him. This morning, you acknowledge that he's hardworking. I have some similar comments like that. Uh, quite a number of them saying, um, what, saying that, yes, he's hardworking, that you have hit the nail on the head. They also attributed the same comments you've made to what um, Pastor Tunde Bakari said earlier that. El well, some mm -hmm. weeks ago, mm -hmm. you know, beg, that no, please hold on now, Don't. hold on first. That <laughs> Tony Bakari said that he that Tinobu was working hard. No, everybody works hard. I work hard at my job, it's no big deal, yeah. Okay, um, and please, that one I suppose I've gone to school with that keep me out of that. Um, what I just said is that what you can see is an indication hmm. that he is working hard. To make sure that he, you know, he gets the the mandate that he wants, and there's nothing. You must recognize when people are do, are doing things, and and actually, it's a wake up call for those who who believe that they'd rather die than see him become president. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm not mm -hmm. endorsing him. People should note that I'm not endorsing him. Uh, when the time comes, I, I, at least for now, I know who I will not endorse. That is neither here nor there. Mm. But the man is making moves. Mm. The man is making. And you need to recognize. You that. need to recognize that 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 position that he got that just to be chairman for a day. Yeah. It yeah. tells a whole lot. Mm. It tells a it's lot massive. of stories. It's, it's massive. massive. Mm. It's massive. You could write a thesis on that move. It's massive. It is almost if care is not taken, some form of endorsement. Yeah. By the top political class of the north. Hmm. Uh, I have another message here on on um, YouTube. Andrew says, sometimes I thought Uncle Jimmy cared more for masses, not knowing he's 100% against us. Jimmy, please listen to this one. He said, that he's, he, you are 100% against the masses. He said, Yoruba man is a VP speaker and more, but do they have any saying? That's how he puts it. If they it. don't have any saying, whose fault is whose that? Whose fault is the constitution is I there. I, I mean, I don't know why, why I we... I just wanted to respond I don't to know that. why we want to be infantile about this. I'm just saying... 
that when people say, for example, that we are being treated like I've yeah. heard that attributed to, mm. as, especially Professor Akito, I say, I, I'm not a slave. I don't feel I'm being treated like If there's anything at all, the people who are making my life uncomfortable are the ones closest to me. I'm not any house of full any man. Well, at least they, they, they claim to be. I don't know. Uh, uh, some of them, you are not too sure <laughs> where anybody comes from. Yeah. So that's the story for another day. Okay, so, I mean, let's get real. We have problems in this country, yes. Life is becoming unbearable, yes. The question you should sit down thoroughly when you're in the toilet, because you do a lot of thinking in the toilet if your toilet is comfortable. <laughs> Another place. The question you should ask yourself is, who are this set of persons? Mm. And then you now ask yourself, some people say, okay, they want to lead an agitation to get you out of Nigeria. Then you ask yourself to achieve what? Where will I be? Who would okay if you if you if you have an Odutua Republic, who's yeah. going to lead it? Uh-huh. All the people who are putting their lives on the line, how are they going to be rewarded? Indeed. W- w- would it be better than what you have now? If you don't like the government in power today, if you can't make moves to get the president in peace or whatever, why not be patient till twenty twenty three? But we know where all this is going. Somewhere along the line now, you will find that, oh, after a while they say okay. We've resolved that we are going to support so, 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 and so. We saw it in the last elections. Mm. When when a, a leading Yoruba cultural group supported a non-Yoruba person yeah. against a, a vice president that was... I'm just going down to their base level because all these things don't mean anything to me. Not just a Yoruba person, a, 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 an in-law, mm. an in-law of the sage, Awolowo, you refused to support him. You said you supported the other man just because he promised restructuring. But we know what happened. We know who got what. So let's get real. I'm, this, I'm not, these things that I've said, I, they don't concern me, yeah. but I just want to go down to their own mm, level. Mm, mm. Okay? I, I get Take it. the argument yes. down to their, down yes. to their level. I, I get that. That if yeah. you're a Yoruba cultural something, how many Yorubas have you actually supported? You people took, you almost took a bus to the cleaners. Mm. Just because, quote and unquote, he's not one of you. You didn't regard him as a Yoruba person because the man tried to be fair to all. Obasanjo has his faults, but at the end of the day, we are going to realize he's one of the best presidents so far that we've had in this country. We wouldn't be in this crisis if, if Obasanjo was president. Have you forgotten what he did in Odi? Hmm. We wouldn't be in this crisis if we had somebody like Obasanjo in the seat of power. So let's let's get real. We have problems. Yes, we are being cheated. Yes, yes, but by who? And then what is the solution with all that I've contributed in all my years? To this country, I will now get up and go and say I want to get another passport called to do a passport. In, in a country, in, in a country, that I don't know who, who would be the leader at that time. I mean, let, let's let's get real and stop creating confusion for ourselves and mm. our children. Those of us who are old to sit back and enjoy our old age and encourage the younger ones to build a better Nigeria. Mm. Mm. Let's let's move on to page twelve of the Vanguard. Court jails professor for manipulating 2019 election result. Acquire them wreck Hill's judgment. I hail the judgment too. Um because it's it's high time we place the premium on punishing those, on punishing people who get involved in electoral malpractices. And here you have this is a professor, a professor of soil science at Unical. He's been jailed by the acquiring bomb. He's been jailed for four years mm. for mm. altering the results of the election to favor the APC against the PDP. Now, if he's found guilty of that, I don't think he did it out of love for whatever. Something must have exchanged hands. Now, the question is, excuse me, whatever exchanged hands, is that going to compensate for the four years he's going to spend in prison? Mm. And and his name that has been completely battered, the whole professor go to prison. That's right. Completely That's right. Battered. How does he look his children that's a, and wife? That's a eye. lifetime of hard work gone, gone down the drain. So this should be a lesson to all of us. And it was slow, but it was sure. You understand? I can imagine how long this trial took. It was slow, but it was sure. And at the end of the day, one major thing we need to learn in this country, across the board, both in terms of action and rhetoric, is that crime does not pay. Because some of the people, some of the things, you see, people are daring government. They've forgotten that the, you know, it, some of them are actually committing crimes. Mm, but mm. I don't want to be said as encouraging the whatever to do what, what it, it's left to the government to do the needful. But there's a limit to us allowing people heat up the polity. Mm, mm. There is a limit. 
the, the, there must, there's something that guards the use of language and guards actions. And when you have people of a caliber of a professor, people who should know, I know some of some we of should these, have integrity. Who should have integrity? I know some of them. I know the jokes we crack over the phone and what they now say outside. I know their mindsets. We know what is happening in a lot of these cases. I mean, it, it is sad, hmm. but people must know that if you are not ready to do the t to do the time, don't do the crime, and that is where the government must make sure that the laws of our land are enforced. Absolutely, that is lacking. Absolutely, we cannot have a country that has a free reign. We hmm. cannot. Jimmy, hmm. we must go. What's coming up at nine? I don't know. Ah, is this one now? <laughs> which one? It's that one. No, no, no that, which one? that that other one. Share this one. The teacher has issue. Okay, if you have dictated it to be so be it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for that tip, though. Yeah. Because honestly, I didn't know what I was going to do at nine. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm getting a bit you, tired. You, say, I'm, uh, I'm, you, I'm, you, I'm, you know, we spoke about it before we, yes, we came on air. Yes, that, you know. Yes, yes, yes. You, you, I wish I could you just play to go music. On a break, like just, just. No, I think it's more than that. The, the the things that you need to talk that you talk about in this. Yeah, country. Jimmy, wait. We need to go now. You see now. We need to. We need to. You know. That MTN, means you join me yeah. at nine. I'll be here now. Uh, okay. I'll be here. Okay. We'll continue from Let's here. go. Let's go. Lagos, thank you. We're back at eight um, for the news. Stay here. Three Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk.